I tend to write on my own. I like to get down to work early in the morning. I, I write on my own. I make notes, I make kind of like mind maps, I know what I want to say in any given chapter, I can't write around people, I can't even write with music on, um, I like to get into the world, I like to even, I like the tiny little details of my work, I like to think kind of what it actually, what the room smells like, I like to think what, you know, what the weather's doing, I get kind of quite obsessive, the friends might say I'm kind of quite obsessive about the characters and everything, trying to get everything right. So I'm in the world, which is what's a strange thing is like at the end of the day, at the end of the working day, I have to come, come out and remind myself where I am, kind of slap myself around the face a little bit and give me some cold water to remind myself that I am actually back in the real world as opposed to being in the world which my characters inhabit. I think what I write from is human nature and I think it's, I like to put people in dilemmas, I like to get characters who are kind of opposites and put them together they have to be they have to be kind of they have to have a, a, a purpose that they have both got an interest in and i think that's when the sparks fly and it's like all good fiction is when you start creating dilemmas and conflicts if you kind of it's like lay cake starts and to a degree people imagine starts almost like in a paradise they're talking about perfect world this is really nice and then what happens is is you stir the, the hornet's nest and you get people kind of attacking one another and there's conflicts, there's clashes of personalities. Um, the characters for me start to come alive. They're little bits of people I know, they're little, little bits of people I've made up, they're little, little bits of people I've read about, they're little bits of people who, historical figures, in this book there was a lot of stuff I was reading a lot about um, psychology at the time and the, the guy, the character, sits out in Jamaica, he owns a hotel in Jamaica and he reads a lot of history and he reads a lot of psychology which is kind of like what I do. So that's where the char my character and the narrator's character kind of overlap. So the characters are born out of them, historical figures, people I know and there's a lot to do with in the book, in Viva there's a lot there's a lot of talk about sampling and taking bits and pieces to create a whole new entity. And I think that's what I do with my characters. I don't judge my characters. It's not my job to judge the characters. Um, a lot of the time you get the characters' backstories, you end up why they are like they are. Um, my characters, and sometimes I feel protective with about them, there's a character in Viva La Man, it's a guy called Sonny King, and he's a bit of a kind of Richard the Third character. You're not meant to like him, but you end up kind of quite liking him in a mad kind of way. You wouldn't want to go on holiday with him, you wouldn't want to live next door to him. But I kind of quite liked him, and I liked his, he's like almost got a sociopath's adaptiveness that everything that comes his way he will turn into to his advantage. So, Guys like Sunny, the Sunnies of this world, I don't try and judge them because I think there's a Sunny in me. And there's a lot of the characters, I guess, you know, I mean, if you get really, really deep, there's bits and pieces of me in these characters. And maybe it's when I write, I get in touch with the darker side of myself and it kind of gets taken to a safe place or play, you know, it gets written down on paper. And it, it kind of, I don't know, you know, I'm not saying I'm kind of some mad bully or gangster or serial killer or anything like that but it dissipates my kind of anger onto the page to a kind of, a kind of healthy place, kind of. I hope not, I very much hope not.